Okay, so with our texture created, now let's create, uh, go to Hypershade and let's create a shader. Let's um, create a metal ray material and we create another MIA material. And let's uh, set the preset here to matte finish. So zero reflectivity, roughness, so just select, uh, yeah, select that preset here. And then we go in here and bring in our file. So click here on uh, color, on that uh, button here, then bring in a file. And um, let me uh, click on that MIA material here and click here to inputs and outputs. And I don't need this uh, 3D texture node and projection node, so delete that. Then I click here on that file node, I turn off that filter and then bring in our image, so it's our uh, clock face texture 2, TGA. So loaded that up, and then we select here that MIA material, and then we hover over this file 1, middle mouse, and drag it onto the diffuse color. And now we um, call this clock face shader close hypershade and then let me go back to perspective or the quad view and then perspective and now let me bring in our geometry and with that geometry selected here um, let's say right click and then assign existing material uh, let me move that up so that you can see this better so uh, assign ex existing material and then say clock face shader and we see nothing here, so hit 6 on your keyboard. And that's showing up our texture. So hit, let me hit a 3 to go to smooth. And alright, so let's check out how that looks if we render that guy. Uh, let me first uh, change our render settings here. to uh, Let's uh, set it to 1k square. And uh, yeah, let's go here to our render view and let's say render perspective okay it's looking good so far um, yeah so there's one thing I don't really like the officially certified um, text here it could be a little bit thinner and the lines here yeah we could leave those like they are but the cool thing is um, because we created instance uh, objects here for those lines we could easily go in and say okay we if we want to ha have those lines a little bit thicker just uh, yeah scale those vertices of um, that one object and then render out another texture if you want to but I for now I leave it like it is okay so yeah we got the first texture on the first shader here in place so now let's uh, take care about that um, shader of that outer ring. So let me hide that uh, main plate here. And um, let me go here to my polygons tab and say show all. And um, yeah, so the red color here that's coming from, I changed the color from that Lambert one, so it's not a big deal. Um, so that you know why it's looking different here. Okay, so yeah, let's um, take a look at the, our outer ring here. Let's hit Alt H to hide everything else. Go to a low poly view, and now let's check out our um, under the, our polygons tab here. Let's check out the UVs again. UV texture editor for that guy. Um, let's select all the UVs that we uh, that we don't really need, and select the shell and then uh, go here to polygons and copy UVs to uh, into a new UV set. Okay, so we have um, the UVs here of uh, that we don't need on a new set. Select all of those and say under polygons layout. And then let's uh, switch back to our first UV map here, so to map 1. And then we again select the UVs uh, that we don't need here, so select that shell and say under polygons delete UVs okay so we have uh, only the 
UVs here that we uh, really need on map one. So select that shell and then again say under polygons and say layout. Okay, so let's check out uh, how this is uh, laid out. So let's uh, select the top UVs here and those are, if I go to the perspective view, exactly where we want them. Yeah, right up there. And now we are, yeah, we'll do the same process here for the texture. Uh, we will create the texture here in Maya as well. Mm. And if you take a look at the reference image, um, let me show all and um, uh, Maya slowing down here. So let me select that reference image. Hope Maya doesn't crash right now. Go to object mode. Hit Alt H. Yeah, if you take a look at um, what's going on on the outer ring, you see some numbers here, and for the numbers, I will take that micro grammar extended uh, font, and for the rest here, I will create polygon geometry. And you see those little uh, triangles here, and those little square type, and this rounded shape. So, yeah, um, that's what we create here in, in Maya and then again uh, take uh, our uh, top view camera and project that. The thing is, and that's, um, yeah, to be honest, um, I, was, uh, some, I spent lots of time figuring out, uh, if I turn off that grid so that you can see it better, to, to check out um, how many degrees are in between those little uh, steps here. Uh, I really took uh, it took me a long time to figure out. I thought there is uh, some kind of a system and it starts um, kind of like uh, that there is a system in between those lines and later on uh, it's kind of like uh, crazy here. So let me show you something. So if I go um, to Firefox um, as you can see up here I uh, uploaded uh, a JPEG that I created in Photoshop under my uh, website so um, yeah you just go here and you will have that image and I uh, actually I put in those degrees here so that uh, that's the degrees that I will use here um, so yeah I will start off uh, doing the first uh, stuff here and then I'll be back uh, when I'm done with that so if you want to have this JPEG just go to my website here and type exactly that stuff in here and you will have that JPEG as well, so that you have an idea how I uh, rotated uh, all these pieces here and why. Okay. So yeah, let's um, st start with that. So let's um, first of all create a polygon plane again, and then let's uh, switch to the top view, and let's move this guy up here. And as you can see, it starts here, not in the center, but I will start in the center. So this is going to be the zero degree one. So let me dial down those um, subdivisions here to something like three. Uh, let's let's even put in one at first. And um, yeah, we put it somewhere here and scale it down, move it down a little bit, um, scale it down a bit more, uh, something like that. And then we take those verts here on top and we scale those down. Okay, this time I won't. Um, yeah, let's just uh, do, uh, take the verts here and merge those so that we have a cool triangle here. And um, yeah, if you're happy with the size of that guy, you could scale that out a bit more something like this. Once you're happy with that guy, um, yeah, you can go in and say if you want to freeze the transforms and then um, let me turn on the grid and then I will put the pivot here to the center of the grid. But um, yeah, let me pause the video and I'll go on in the next one uh, creating that texture.